Hello there and welcome to another week in our garden. Now this week we're going to do an update. So we're going to walk the garden and show you what we've been up to and perhaps harvest one or two things on the way up. So we'll start here under the squash frame as we like to call it and show you how the squashes etc are progressing. As you can see the the smaller squashes that will climb the frame are doing rather well. One's really got hold of there. Look. I will in and out them as they grow up and put some of the tapes on just to support them a little and then they can support themselves once they get to the top. They're doing rather well. I do have to water them regularly. This is the other side as you can see they're doing rather well. A lot of water in there. I've put some slug pellets on as well because I was a bit worried about the slugs getting them and we've had no trouble with them at all. These are the pumpkins that are growing to circles as they get a bit bigger. We'll soon be underway with these. They really are putting some root down there. Again, plenty of water. I've just taken a few sticks of rhubarb. As you can see, the We've har been harvesting the rhubarb now, quite heavy, it's come, still producing. It could do with a good drop of rain, but the, it's doing rather well. We've got about another fortnight left in it, then we'll leave it alone. But there's still a lot coming, so we will keep taking it while we can. Between the fruit trees, I've planted up the peppers that we had spare, and also the tomatoes that we had spare. With a bit of luck and a good summer, they'll produce. They've certainly grown since I've planted them, so they're doing rather well. They'll have to be tied up again, but I will put more, some, more supports in there, because those canes are not strong enough. The fruit trees, have got a good mulch on them. They've been attacked quite bad with aphids, so I will be spraying again this afternoon. It's been a bad year for aphid this year. I'm on my second attack now. I will keep spraying. I'll keep the soap going on and we'll keep on top of them. Because of all the aphid I've been getting, I've also re-greased my grease bands to stop the ants from taking any more aphid up the tree. The four plants, if you can remember here, they're the courgettes, settling down nicely. Keep watering them again. They're the rest of the pumpkins that we put in to balance up the frame. They'll be grown into circles as well. The first and second early potatoes this year are very hit and miss. Some's come up, some haven't come up. But I'm sure they'll get there in the end. This end row has not done very well at all. I don't think it's the apple tree because it goes too far down. The far end's good and this end's not, but we'll see what happens. The beans and peas are doing very well, very pleased with these. Everything seems to be running nice in here and growing well. I have been watering them as you can see, and they're doing fine. I might just pop some lettuce in there as well, I've got the next one ready to go in. So I'll just pop a few lettuce down the side as well. These are the dwarf broad beans. They're doing rather well. We didn't want an awful lot of broad beans. We're just getting the amount we want. And as you can see, they're not up, up tall, so the wind hasn't been blowing them over. I have supported them just to stop the, the weight of the crop when it comes pulling them over. Next to those, I've put a few leeks. I was going to hold the leeks until the beans are finished, but the beans are later than I thought, so I put the leeks in next to them now. I've left the left the holes as the rain and the hoeing, etc. They soon fill up on their own. They'll be fine, but they've certainly grown since I put them in. These are the garlic plants I put in. As you can see, there's quite a few blown to seed, but I've took the seed heads off. There's a little bit of rust coming on them as well now. So I'm thinking next week 
I'll probably lift a few and see what's at the bottom. I think they're dying back because they're getting ready for harvest. We'll have a look next week and see what's happening down there, then make a decision on those. I think perhaps the land's a little bit too heavy for growing garlic, but we'll see what we've got and then make a decision. I've planted them here on the lightest part of the garden I've got. These are the main crop onions, red and white, or red and brown if you like. They're doing quite well. I have to keep them hoed. Remember when you are hoeing your onions, keep your handle low so you're not going deep because they're only shallow rooted. The pigeons have knocked one or two over when I've shooed them off, but they're, they're all right, they're doing well. This is the first mesh tunnel as we go up the garden. I've put a few lettuce in that corner. They are the Roseanne type, the tall lettuce with good hearts on them. And there's a little bit of little gem red over there as well. And then we've got these. These will probably go into the bean net. There's two varieties there, little gem and the Roseanne types there. Beetroot, this is the beetroot doing rather well. Not a lot of trouble with beetroot. Doesn't need a lot of water or to get too much leaf, but they're doing fine. The celery, if you remember, we was a bit worried whether this will blow to seed or grow. I did put another batch in, but they got too hot in the greenhouse, so they failed as well. So we'll have to see what happens there. This small batch here is celeriac. It's doing rather well, quite pleased with that. The celery will need to stay damp at foot so to keep it growing. These are the overwintered Japanese onions, what's left, we have been eating them. And the red ones have not done awfully well, but the brown or white ones have done rather well. So next year I think I'm just going to do the brown onions I think I'll put them under one of the tunnels, give them a little bit of protection and I think they'll do a lot better. I have picked a few, we'll take a couple up to the house and we'll give a couple of each to our neighbours because they need using, they're not for storing so we'll use, and they taste lovely and mild, I'm very impressed with the taste of them. These are the main crop potatoes, these take up the whole of Bed B doing rather well we have some flowers coming on them they're well early three varieties you can see there's three varieties with the different foliage I have ridged them once more I should just keep my eye on them now and if there's any potatoes popping out the side of the ridges I'll go and cover them up so they don't go green and wasted a few desiree on the end of that line that haven't done quite quite so well. I shall be making sure they've got plenty of water down there in case they're just a bit dry. This is the turf box we made for some uh, turfy loam. The box is coming apart a little bit but it's sinking now so it's, it must be working. But we're not opening this up now until next year and then we'll see what we've got. We're at one of the frames, as you can see the parsnips are doing rather well. I have thinned them once, I might have to thin them again. A few spring onions that are just thickening up nicely now. The carrots are ready for thinning but they're not quite ready. I've taken one or two, let them thicken up a little bit more and then we'll use the thinnings on the salads. They're very nice when they're young. There's another row of onions, three rows of onions there, come along quite nicely and a few parsnips I had left over so I put them in there. In the second frame, as you can see the little gems are now ready for harvesting, I'll harvest all six of those. These are the, the Roseanne type, they're doing absolutely wonderful, they're really going hot up in the next few days and they'll be very very crispy lettuce though as well. This is the uh, other side of the second frame. As you see we've emptied all the seedlings we had in here. This will be ready for the main crop carrots we're putting in here. I have a few 
red lettuce in here to harvest and some radish I'll now harvest some of these radish they got a bit a bit covered with the lettuce the lettuce did bigger than, or better than I thought they was going to do I've just picked a few radish while here out the line the others are now thicken up as they as they grow on this I've is... opened up the first frame and I'll show you what's in here and I'm going to harvest two of the red lettuce my ancestor doesn't want any more red lettuce today so I'm just getting two for each one of our good neighbours. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one and I think that one which are excellent and if you can notice while we've got the net up how nice and clean this, these crops are it really is worthwhile putting the mesh on. There's one of the red lettuce and now I'll just cut the other one. Now in this frame, if you remember, we've got the two main runs of Brussels and we've interplanted with kohlrabi, cauliflowers, summer cauliflowers that is, and a little bit of purple sprouting along the edge. When I look along here, I see one of the kohlrabi have split. I think it's due to that very hot weather we had. So I'm actually going to remove it. There's no good growing it, we won't use it. So I'll just leave the soil behind, no one take the soil away. Right, if you look there, it's badly split. So that's no use in the, in the garden, so we take that away and compost it. Now as you can see, this, everything else in this mesh tunnel is doing very very well and now I'm going to close it down as quickly as I can because I don't want no bugs to get in there. Well, we've just had a little shower of rain so I'm not going to open the centre tunnel up I'm going to open the last one up to show you but I'll just go through what we've got. If you can remember the two rows of Brussels in each and every tunnel we've got we've got lettuce down the middle this is the tall Roseanne types which are just beginning to start and form a heart, beautiful. Then you've got cauliflowers along the sides. Now the marigolds, because I have to keep opening the tunnels for harvesting, weeding, etc. I put the marigolds in just to help keep the flies out. Whether it will or not, I don't know. But there's a little bit of red cabbage, look. That will be autumn before that's ready. This is the third of the mesh tunnels we're using this year. I've just opened it quickly just to show you how full and how well it's growing. Notice down here, these are the summer cabbages that are hearting up. That'll be ready in a few weeks and that'll be gone. And then you've got the summer cauliflowers come through. Then they'll be gone and we'll be left with just the Brussels sprouts growing. We will put the autumn cauliflowers, the winter cauliflowers and the winter cabbage in here to follow. But beautiful and clean as you can see. There's lettuce still in the middle that is about two days off being ready. A very very busy mesh tunnel this one but it is producing beautiful beautiful crops. It's just beginning to rain and it's wonderful but Diane says we're going to have to have a cup of tea so we're going to cover this tunnel up and we're going to go up for a cup of tea so see you shortly this is what we've harvested while we've been on our little walk round today it's a very very nice crop all right we've had a cup of tea and a biscuit it stopped raining it might rain again i hope now we're in the fruit cage and if you remember the uh, French beans I set. A bit of a catastrophe, this is uh, this what happens when you direct set the slugs have absolutely annihilated them. It's always better to raise them in cells and then plant them out. The celeriac's doing very well. The currant bushes, these are the ones we moved last year so I don't expect a lot from them but they, they've got a bit of fruit on, they're doing fine. The blackberry we planted and the tayberry planted, both doing fine. 
they're rooting down nicely again we won't expect in anything from them this year the hardwood cuttings are settling down and doing all right lost one or two but that's fine the raspberries that are nearly on their their last season they're doing very well this year they're going to be flowering and fruiting in all different stages because it's quite a mixed batch but these are the new raspberries all rooting down i do i do believe i've lost two but the others are doing fine the strawberries are doing very well fruiting well we'll get these strawed down next week so we can keep the crop a bit cleaner they're doing very well the gooseberry bushes fully laden with fruit just need the rain now just to swell those berries up if we just lift them up as you can see they're absolutely loaded very nice just need the rain the fruit bushes the red currants black currants and white currants are doing fine loaded with fruit so they'll be they'll be nice there we are look absolutely loaded with fruit the blueberries, we have got blueberries this year, not so many as I'd like, but we have got blueberries. But if we remember, these were moved last year, so what we have is fine, that'll be good. What we have is good. They're fed every week with the ericaceous feed and they seem to be settling down, looking very well on it. This is the thornless blackberry. It's doing very, very well, it's very strong. I think I'm going to have to put a bigger frame on for it. It is nearly outgrown this frame that it's got. Lovely flowers. Again, it's its first year, so we're not expecting a lot from it. But there are fruits. This is the Morello cherry growing on the north side of the shed. It's doing, growing well, it's fruiting well this year, as you can see. I will have to put a net across it and then there's a little bit of summer pruning here to do to train it as I want. These will all have to come off to get the horizontals moving. It's doing fine. We'll go round now and have a look at the grapevine. The grapevine is still growing very strong. There's these runners all appearing. We need to take the tops off. We go one, two and then cut. It's a continuous job this time of year until it settles down. We'll just pop up to the greenhouse and show you the baskets and the impatient balls, see how they're getting on. Right, we're in the greenhouse now and we just want to show you how the baskets are coming on and the impatient balls and the tomatoes and my strawberries are brought in. We'll show you how we're getting on in the greenhouse. Now as you can see the impacting balls are coming along quite well, they're thickening up now. They'll be, they're doing fine. They're all turning the leaves in the right direction now, so they don't, uh, in a few days time all this will be all thickened up. Just give this one a spin so you can see. These are thickening into these patches and they'll be fine then. The bottom ones are beginning to turn as well. I haven't started feeding them yet or anything, I've just kept them well watered. There's no reason now why tomorrow all these baskets can go onto the cottage and give me a bit more room as well. The baskets are doing rather well now, a little bit of deadheading still to do. And these can, these can go out tomorrow. The, again, I haven't started feeding them yet, I've just watered them, just to let them thicken up. The tomatoes are doing rather well. The grafted tomato we did is actually carrying tomatoes now, so that's been a success. I'll have to obviously start feeding this one now. I haven't taken the side shoots off this morning with this filming, but I will. And I will, on the cucumber I will take these off before they just grab and choke everything up 
there's another chute coming off there I'll take that up on the ties as well but all the tomatoes are doing rather well there's not a lot showing tomatoes yet just the grafted one but they're fine two peppers there for growing in the greenhouse they're doing fine now I potted these strawberries last year and brought them in early to see if we can get some early strawberries as you can see they're beginning to colour up a little bit now so it, we might get them a few days earlier than the main crop I'll just show you this one on this strawberry they're all coming deformed so that plant really ought to be taken out that side's all right it's just these these I will cut off I was going to cut them off but I thought I'd just show you they're deformed fruits so and they're all the same so we'll take this side off completely I'll cut that off we've had a little war around this morning with you it's just beginning to rain which is very very welcome we've had uh, a walk round as I said and showed you what we've been up to I hope you enjoyed it next week if we have some good weather we'll show you all the hanging baskets on the cottage it's been a lot of work to get it set but the real work starts now we're looking after it believe me so I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next week bye now